Guys, we are here with Western Carolina head coach Kerwin Bell. Coach, the first question is, you're going into your second year here at WCU. What, were, what was the biggest challenges you faced in your first season as head coach? Well, we weren't really able to, that first year we got here so late, you know, we were, seemed like we were playing catch up the whole season. And, um, but got through it, really had a great last five games, finished four and one. That gave us great momentum heading into the off season. And one thing we've been able to do now that we've been there for years is that we've been able to establish our culture, right? Just day in and day out, what we expect from our kids, how to get up, go to class, what we expect when they get in the weight room, spring practice. Now we're heading into summer, you know, we're in summer, we've had a great off season. And I think it's just being able to build that culture. And now we feel very comfortable heading into this second season that um, our kids understand what we expect from them. What are the keys for you on how to bring that winning culture that you built at Valdosta State at, at, to Western Carolina? What, what, what were the steps for you and what, what's your like visionary plan for it? Well, I think the number one thing is, as a head coach, we got to create competition, right? So we do that by acquiring talent. So we, I think we've done a great job. Of, this roster is so much more talented than what we had when we got here. We've got every position is going to be challenges uh, during, during camp, which is going to make players better. And so our number one priority first, I think, as a head coach, i got to acquire talent, get some depth in here, get guys compete. We're doing that right now. We've got a lot of depth. We feel very comfortable. A lot of young kids, a lot of young high school kids that are going to be an important role with us. But I think it's a, they're talented kind of guys that we can win a championship with. So I'm very happy with that. And then just creating that culture that we're expecting to win. You know, we, our expectation level is to go win a championship. Nothing less than that. And I think our kids are buying into that. The rec recruiting's changed so much just in the past few years for coaches. How do, how do you and your staff plan to manage the transfer portal while also staying active on the high school recruiting trail? Well, I think we, we look at it for certain situations. You know, we went out and got 27 scholarship high school players. So we're going young, we're going to develop these great, talented kids, and we're going to win a championship with them. That's, I think we've got that kind of our class. You know, I think we're rated number one in the SOCON in our recruiting class. So we just need to keep stacking classes like that on top of each other. Uh, if the portal is a situation like our linebacker position, we had no veterans coming back. You don't want freshmen to have to rely on freshmen. So we went out and got three you know, linebackers that we think is going to help us that played a lot of snaps for us. And so that area, I think O-line, D-line will be areas we always try to look at the portal because I think that's where you get some guys that maybe are next level type guys. And so we went out and got some O-line, D-line transfer guys. But we're going to try to stay with high school kids who we can develop and guys who we can build a great program with and build a championship with. One of the biggest things about your recruiting class, which did rank number one in the conference, was the national reach. You guys are going to Florida, different states. How, are you, how have you and your staff managed to build those relationships across the country? Well, you know, for us, we've got – a lot of our staff is from Florida. I'm from Florida with a lot of connections. Uh, the two programs I've been at with Jacksonville University and Valdez State, we, were, we relied on a lot of Florida kids. Um, and the high school kids that coaches down there, even though we went to a one and nine program, they're saying, hey, if Coach Bell wants you, man, go up there. He's going to build a winner. So we got a lot of commitments from those kids. Uh, we're still going to recruit heavy out of South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee with Florida. We feel like that's some of the best states in the country. And if we can't find the kind of players to go win a championship with, then we hadn't done a good job. And throughout spring and summer workouts, there's, there's, you mentioned how young this team is. There's always young guys who really emerge. Who are some young guys that have really stood out to you and your staff and that could emerge as leaders for your team? Well, you know, first of all, we, we really glad to Carlos Davis, who's really a junior um, that was on our roster last year, played some, got player of the week. We love the way he's progressed. He's really separated himself. We think he's going to have two great years at quarterback position. But on, a, on, on the offense, we're going to rely on some running backs that are young, Desmond Reed, Corey Reddick, some guys out of Miami we think there'll be some explosiveness to this system. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to rely on maybe three or four freshman receivers to play for us. So that air side the ball, we're going to have some young kids that's got to produce for us. On the defense side, the defensive backfield is loaded with talented freshmen, corners and safeties, guys who, and linebackers who's going to bring us a lot of depth. And that's what we missed last year on the defense side, not being able to rotate a lot of guys. I think we're going to be able to do that this year, and that's going to help our, our defense out. If someone's never seen a team coached by you and your staff play, how would you describe your style of play that you would like to see from your team? Well, listen, we're gonna, we call, our, our saying is live on the edge. And so we want your toes out on the edge, leaning forward, toes in the ground, ready to make a play. We want to be an aggressive football team, offensively, defensively, special teams. 
we want those kind of players, and that's who we recruited. And so we want guys who pull the trigger quick on, the, on defense, the guys who are explosive on offense. We want the guys who play very fast, who play on the edge. And uh, if you see that from our football team, along with taking ownership in their roles. Mm -hmm. I hope when you see our team, you see the punt returner guy that's covering punts, takes ownership in that, and does it the best of his ability, and works his butt off doing it. We try to really build that because that's the, it's the ultimate team sport. Think about it, uh, the game of football. There's so many roles that people have to play every week, and hopefully we'll coach those guys up to take ownership in those roles and do it to the best of their ability. What is So the final question, Coach, throughout spring, summer, going into fall camp, what's the message from the coaching staff to the team on what the, what the team goals are and what they have to do to achieve those? Well, listen, I, I, I told them, you know, we're not voted ninth again, like we were last year. I think every coach, all the, the or last, all I think all nine coaches or other coaches on the other teams voted for us last. So the expectations are rising, which is great. Um, we want expectations. We want expectations to win a championship. So nothing less than that. So when we went to the off season this off season, what do we do have to do? How big do you have to get? How fast do you have to be? How hard do you have to work every day to win a championship? I don't care about winning seasons. We're thinking championships. No, but we've never won a SoCon championship. What do we have to do to be the first group at Western Carolina to ever do that? That's our mentality. That's our focus day in and day out. Coach, I appreciate your time. Guys, Western Carolina is going to be a team to watch this fall. Stay tuned for more content from SoCon Media Day.